We have got a very exciting first look for you here today. This is the brand new Villia Zero SLR. Now, Villiers is one of the most historic and recognizable bike brands in the world. And this is its first super lightweight bike with disc brakes and fully concealed cables. In case you aren't familiar with Villiers' enviable heritage in cycling, it's one of the oldest bike brands in the world, dating back to 1906. And it has had formidable success in professional cycling, having been ridden by some of the greatest climbers of all time, including Ferenzo Magni, Marco Pantani, Damiano Cunigo, and Michele Scarponi. And in recent years, the climbers have tended to favor Villiers' super light series of zero bikes. And the Zero SLR is the latest model in that range, replacing the previously range topping 07. It used to be when choosing a new bike, you had to make a choice, a compromise, either lightweight or aerodynamic. But now, according to Villier, you can have both. First up, being a Zero Series bike, you'd expect it to be light, and it is, it's very light. Villia claims that it's just 780 grams in this size, which for a disc brake equipped bike is very impressive indeed. And the fork is also light. They claim it's just 340 grams, which again is impressive, especially when you consider it's been beefed up to cope with the asymmetric forces from disc brakes being just mounted on one side. You can actually see if you look straight down, it's noticeably thicker on this right-hand side. But it's not all about lightweight for Villia. Super lightweight bikes can often feel a bit noodly, not the stiffest machines in the world. And with the new Zero SLR, Villia claims to have the highest stiffness to weight that it's achieved so far. In fact, it's supposed to be 24% stiffer than the previous Zero 07 model. One of the ways Villiers says it's achieved this is by using a new type of carbon fiber called Husmod, which they claim is qualitatively superior to any kind of carbon that they've used before. They've also employed a liquid crystal polymer in the carbon as well. And this is said to reduce vibrations and improve impact resistance. This is cool too, if you take a look at this. The new bike has a completely new design, seat post clamp design. It's all hidden and integrated to keep it out of the wind, but it also makes it look really neat. So you've actually got the collar hidden inside the frame here and it's accessed by a little bolt there. You've also got a D-shaped seat post, which has become a common feature on lightweight aero bikes as it offers greater compliance. It's able to flex because it's flat at the back, but also it's a slightly more aerodynamic shape with this sort of cam tail profile. With regards to other aero features on the frame, there are truncated tube profiles and cam profiles featured in various locations, which have slightly lower drag than just round tubes. And also the fork blades, you may have noticed, are slightly spaced further apart from the wheel than you find on other bikes. This is a feature that was first seen on Villiers' Turbine TT bike, but we've also seen it on other bikes, such as the British cycling track bikes that you may have seen in the Olympics. The Zero SLR has a proprietary integrated cockpit. Now, the Cento 10 Villiers Aero bike also has an integrated bar and stem, but this one's a completely new design. And as you can see, or well, maybe you, you can't see, all the cables are completely hidden. They root through the bar, through the stem, and then down into the head tube. And to make life easier with this, it's good to see the spaces split in two, which means that if you want to adjust your stem and make it higher or lower, or add in or take out spaces, you can do so relatively easily without having to disconnect the brake lines, which being hydraulic brakes, well, is, is a blessing. And it's a feature that plagued some of the earlier heavily integrated bike designs. 
I should also point out that the bar is said to be really light as well. Villiers claims that it's just 330 grams for a 100 millimetre stem and 42 centimetre wide bar. And at the back, we've got the drop seats days, something which has become a defining feature of modern aero bikes. And the reason why bike brands are increasingly adopting it is because it's said to be more compliant because the idea is that you get a longer effective seat tube which can flex a bit more. And they're also said to offer slightly lower drag as well. And you may notice that here we've got a very asymmetric design. And this is to cope with the differing forces. So you've got the drivetrain load forces on the right side and the braking forces from the disc on the left side. Now you may be wondering, what are these rather bling carbon wheels we've got on the bike? Well, these are ULT 38KT disc wheels made by Villiers. And they're one of three wheel sets that Villiers is going to be offering in 2020. And they've been made in collaboration with the wheel brand Miche. Interestingly, all three wheel sets will only be available as a disc brake model. Clearly, Villiers designers have been paying attention to the rim brake extinction clock in the GCN tech show. Also, being Villiers thoroughbred race wheels, they're only available in tubular versions as well. So these are tubular wheels we've got on right now. And something else nice is that the bearings in them are ceramic speed. So a few extra efficiency savings there. So these, the ULT 38s, are actually 37.8 millimeters deep, not quite 38, but they weigh just 1,390 grams a pair, which is nice and light and i'm gonna do a free up sound check ceramic speed for you nice and smooth Look at that. connecting the wheels to the frame and mavic speed release through axles and these are a special kind of through axle that allow you to remove the wheel from the frame without entirely removing the through axle from the wheel and it may not matter much to amateur riders but for a pro cyclist trying to save every last second then well a quick wheel change could be the difference between winning and losing being a top of the range bike we've got top spec components throughout so we've got full Jura ace di2 including a compact 50 34 chain set and an 1128 cassette now i know what some of you are going to say why is an italian thoroughbred superbike not got an Italian group set on it. Well, don't shoot me, I'm only the messenger. But it does have some Italian components on it. So we've got Vittoria Corsa Speed Tubulars, very nice, and a Seller Italia SLR saddle. And that's it really, with Villiers supplying, well, the cockpit, the seat post, the, the fork and the wheels. It's kind of a trend we're increasingly seeing with bike brands offering greater system integration by doing more of the components themselves. Think sort of, well, specialised with Roval and Trek with Bontrager. Right, I think it's time we weighed it. Feels like this. Place your bets now what you think it's going to be. 7.1. That is impressive for a disc brake bike. I hope you've enjoyed this first look at what is... Well, I think a really beautiful bike. And if you have, then please give it a thumbs up. And let us know what you think about it in the comments section down below. And to watch another video, then click down here.